Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back and happy Sunday, guys. Oh, goodness sake. Absolutely super happy Sunday to everybody out there. Thank you so much for your support over on Patreon. All those that are supporting us over there, we couldn't do it without your help. No, we cannot. And we really, really appreciate it. Absolutely. And we will be coming up with the Patreon only shortly. And, you know, there's so much I feel right now that we need to cover. That it's just crazy out there. And yet we, we do need to be preparing as best as we can for whatever is going to be thrown in our particular direction. Uh, there was a very strong and relatively shallow 6.9 quake that hit Papua New Guinea. Uh, Indonesia had a 6.4 and a 6.0 earlier, not just a, just earlier in the week. Uh, things are heating up, but then again, uh, so is the sun, and we're going to go into that too. As you see, this is it located right here, and we have some other aftershocks, 5.1, 5.2... 5.2 Indonesia is one of the most active spots on the entire globe so you know these times hang on tight just just hang on tight we have a g3 strong geomagnetic storm predicted for Monday for tomorrow there have been so many rapid fire flares if you look I mean we had such a quiet period then you had this this one M class then you had the X 1.1 you have this big dip, and then it's just boom, 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 another dip, and smaller ones. Yeah, the sun is ramping up and getting ready to do uh, its thing. Uh, as we had spoken about before, there is, a again, a CME that was associated. And, you know, just, just be aware that a lot of people can have issues and, and not feel uh, themselves when the kp starts to rise and and when we are bombarded with all this energy ultimately the energy from the sun is a good thing mm -hmm. and i think you'll notice if you're on this journey or just getting started you your body generally has reactions to the solar weather to the cosmic weather so that's something important to keep an eye on there's some apps out there that help people track it uh, you know, it might even be some emotional issues as well. You might not sleep. You might sleep too much. Um, and if you're thirsty, I highly recommend drink plenty of water. Get that in your body because your body's trying to talk to you. It needs help. Listen to your body. I would say that's one of the most important things. I, I think we need to be uh, flexitarians at this point in time and really be listening to what our body is telling us you you might want to go through a period of fasting you might want to go through a period of, of feasting it, it's all going to be depending on what your body needs because your body is is changing it really literally is changing in these times and here you have a shock report migrants now invading Florida beaches all across South Florida Illegal aliens aren't just coming across the southern borders. As we know, they're also coming from the northern borders. And they're also coming in boats. And, you know, there is the 10 island, 10,000 island region over in South Florida and the West Coast. And that affords such opportunity to hide people until they could be activated later. And so, you know, this is uh, an official message right here. I'm St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson. Illegal aliens aren't just flooding across our southern borders. They're arriving all across South Florida beaches, including right here in St. Lucie County. They are undocumented and unvetted individuals whom we have no idea what type of positive or negative impact they could have on public safety of our community or nation. Well, it, they have quite a nice boat, don't they? They have quite a nice boat. It, you know, in... <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's serious. This is crazy. What what's happening right now is 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 beyond insane. There's no way you can uh, you know logically rationalize what's happening happening in any light other than it's a, a funded invasion of us and the us is people really all over the globe, pri primarily in the NATO countries. And it's funded by us. I mean, our, your money is going for this. Our, our money is going for this. All the taxes are, are going, and they just passed, like, this massive spending bill. Um, 
you know, put into effect again, how, how could they read it? They don't because it's, it, it's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. And this is the thing that people have to realize. It's always been an illusion. Massive uh, bill to just spend our money away on ultimately, you know, just redoing our society in a complete way in which most people don't want it redone. It, it is really, really frustrating because you watch all of these people in um, high places and they, they make plenty of money. They do just fine. They, you know, they don't have to pay into the system. We're the ones carrying the brink of it or, or the brunt of it. I mean, <laughs> we're carrying it and we're, we're funding it is so frustrating. And yes, tax season is right around the corner. I mean, that's double frustrating when you know where it's going. It's like, what do you do? Because if you don't pay your taxes, I mean, there's dire consequences for that. And most people cannot afford it. In fact, I would say people, if you're paying taxes, you, you just, you can't afford to not pay them because they're going to come get you. So what do we do? You know, it's like, Gosh, I hate giving information and not giving people like a, a remedy. But I guess what we're doing is just we're baby stepping out of the system. It took a while to get here. It's going to take a while to get out. We've got to be patient and methodical, too. I mean, the, you can't be making big, irky, jerky moves. You know, anything that really disrupts your daily flow, we need to stay grounded, level headed and uh, just be very deliberate in your actions about um, getting out of the system in the meantime, you know, we need to transmute this system in a way. If we're going to be in it, we might as well use it for the benefit of growing spirituality, growing spiritually in some way, shape, or form. Absolutely. And, you know, if, if I was, if we were not supposed to be doing this, because this is our mission, and if we were like some people that we we know that have the ability to to go anywhere, you know, they're not really tied down and can, you know, I, I would not recommend, you know, being where we are even. Yeah, I really wouldn't. Uh, you know, the primary target in these times is going to be the NATO countries. A lot of people are buzzing about that. I see so many comments in places that, you know, you didn't see talk about those DEA GEL forecast now everybody's talking about them because they could all of a sudden understand the numbers and it makes all the sense in the world all of a sudden so you know again um, each person has their own path and each person has their own purpose for this life and it could be that you are one of those that's a brave soul that has decided to shine light in the darkest areas and to stand through the the strongest storms that come uh, you know, it, it, everybody has their own purpose. Our purpose is to alert people to what's happening, to teach them about human potential and possibilities, to get them to realize there's so much that we can achieve that we really, we, we don't need this system. We really don't need this system. But it's going to take awakening the masses to understand that you don't need the system. I wanted to share this because... Um, I had a, a vision that I know was given to me purposefully, um, and they've been a very, very uh, crisp. Uh, and, you know, I saw some information that came out that makes me think, okay, this was in some way related to, to what happened in Russia, but I do think it's just um, uh, kind of the start of all these things. And then last night's was uh, very, very vivid, and we woke up early because there's no way I was going to go back to sleep after it. Um, but I wanted to uh, share this part with you guys. This was from a couple days ago. This is the alert mass shooting unfolding uh, that talked about the events that happened in Moscow. It was Cindy. It really bothered me. I saw people in exactly what it looks like uh, in Moscow, it was a big mall type of setting, and there were people up on the upper end of it that just started to execute people, and you know, very methodically shooting everybody in sight. People were screaming and trying to get out of the way. They were like sliding down the escalators. They were just jumping down the escalators in a panic, tumbling down, uh, trying to escape as the people up 
on the first level, the upper level, we're organizing and coming together. And I think I did share this with you guys in one of the videos. Everything has been a blur because it's been just so insanely busy lately uh, with a ton of messages also coming through from the guides. Um, but it, the thing that struck me is I saw ball caps. I saw everybody wearing ball caps. And, you know, some had it like sideways, some were wearing it normal, some were wearing it backwards, some inside out. But that was how they recognized each other because I think they were coming together for the first time. Uh, and I do think it has to do with sleeper cells. And so um, the ball cap thing stuck out. Now they've arrested 11 people um, or detained 11 people. Uh, they know that there was four main suspects that they saw in this particular uh, event, which, by the way, has gone uh, all the way up to 133 casualties. Look at this. This is the band that was playing. What do you see here? Well, I guess it's just a coincidence that there's an eye staring at you. I'm not sure about the symbology here. We'll have to research it, but it looks very familiar. Obviously, that could represent a person in some ways holding up um, in a sun-moon position. Uh, I'm going to have to ask Cindy what she sees. Look at look at this. We'll, we'll do more in-depth research into the symbology um, but these super tall beings that just so happen to be about the height of a, an Anunnaki, <laughs> you can't make this up, with long fingers that remind me very much of, um, except for there's only three of them on the tall gray I saw, but, but very much these fingers are, re remind me of the tall gray that ended up following us too throughout the desert as well as uh, pop into my bedroom in uh, Florida and Sarasota you know and then you got a robot in the middle and what's right on the front across this is the band that was playing when when that whole event happened and the all-seeing eye and this looks like a crescent moon which is you know again I can't help but thinking of the connection to uh, Allah to Islam, to Sin, to Nanar Sin, to Sinai, to, to again take me right back to the Anunnaki. So, you know, they have 11 people detained, 133 people lost their lives, um, and, the, you know, the building did burn. It, it, it's just, it's, a, it's, it's horrible, but I think this is, uh, again, not going to be an isolated thing. And let me get my uh, amazing wife's first impressions on this. This is just gr grotesque is what comes to mind. Well, when I look at it, I, I look to see what is it saying. And it, it is saying very clearly that um, humans are not in control, that there is another entity, there is another being, there is another group of people uh, behind the humans that are really um, pulling pulling punches they're making the decisions and I think it is so vague to many of the controllers that their ability to uh, be channeled by these beings is very very powerful they don't realize they're being channeled or they're channeling them channeling works both ways it works uh, it's really difficult to explain it works two ways for the being who is channeling another being you have to be aware of what to do how to do it uh, what processes to make to get the information to go through clearly and I can promise you that any channeling that is done in a alien nature by beings that are not from this planet they know exactly what they're doing they know exactly how to get their point across they know exactly how to throw their emotions and get humans to do what they need them to do and that's that's the part of channeling that can be dangerous if if a being is controlling you completely and you're not aware of it and you don't have the proper protections and you don't have the appropriate uh, energies around you to really know what you're doing that's where it can get ugly and at this level these 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 are being channeled by uh, non-human entities and if you look behind you know I'm looking at that symbol I mean those are obviously alien eyes on that symbol that's on the the backdrop curtain and then also if you go to certain places like I went to Monument Valley you can see these 
these symbols that are stamped on the rocks and it's another sign of um, non-human entities so this to me just speaks very very loud and it was a uh, it was very much a um, a sign and a symbol and it had meaning and purpose and you look at the giants behind them um, yeah this speaks volumes and what they did i mean this was like a, a flag or 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 a signal to say okay this is this is time and it's a ceremony and it's a ritual and it's, it's all ritual. very very sad is what really it is yeah absolutely yeah you, know, you could definitely say it's a satanic ritual and i feel there's absolutely no coincidence that you know this is the group that was playing right. at the sacrificial ritual right and it, it's so sad and you know people who go out to the mall you know they dress up and that's the creepy thing about rituals is the sacrifices they're going to dress them up and these people probably dress themselves up to look nice to look appropriate to go out in public and and the people that are actually carrying it out they they don't know if if they were to have control over their own being this would not have happened and, and i don't know how many of you have heard of mk ultra but it was a very very nasty experiment and the things that they would do to those people to gain control over their psyche to break out the uh the psychic uh, type of abilities is just atrocious and and I you know I I will I I know of it I will never speak of it online but I have talked to some of you guys about things that these MK Ultra do to other people to break open those psychic abilities and it's really disgusting I just this is our leadership this is our leadership and there's no one that is on a, a good happy good guy pedestal that I can see and if they do pretend to be a good guy, good guy you know maybe it's nice and pleasant to hear that the words that they say are advantageous to our our existence but i don't trust them ever absolutely <clears throat> and as i'm saying this uh the two things that were trending on twitter were allah and christ the king and this is all a construct of these beings Whoa, okay, there okay. that we didn't do that. <laughs> we're still rolling, I hope. Let me see. It looks yeah, like we are. E, yeah, it looks like we're rolling, but you know, this this is a, a warning from them because they watch everything we do. Um these guys say they were recruited on Telegram by somebody called the preacher, the preacher. It's also symbolic in so many ways. And they did it for five thousand four hundred and something dollars U.S. This is insane. Who would, in their right minds, kill people for such for anything? It, you know, let alone you know a couple. You know, I keep thinking the biblical terms: a couple pieces of silver and Judas, right? Okay, so I wanted to share last night's vision, um, just because this happened so quickly. Um, literally, uh, I want to say that I had the, the vision on Wednesday night and then the attack in Russia happened on Friday. Now it might not be the attack I saw. Um, it could be a different one, but similar, um, with the same sort of MO, um, or it could have been that one, uh, hard to say. I mean, when I look at the photos from above and the escalators, boy, that looks just, just like it. But last night I saw um, somebody with something like this, I would say 18 to 24 inch long, thick, heavy bladed um, sword slash oversized knife that was purposely um, making it a point to decapitate people. Um, and this really stood out. I saw one instance where there was somebody going to sit on a motorcycle and the person came up from behind them and they never saw it. And in one blow took off, uh, you know, the head. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like, well, okay, maybe this is coming from the guides as a warning. You know, Cindy had been getting visions of curved uh, blades 
for a while and we've shared this with you guys i want to say over a year uh, maybe a year and a half ago even is i wouldn't be surprised if it coincided with around the time of the vision back in december of 2022 where the guide said 1.5 years and they showed cindy what looked to be volcanic activity going off in what we took to be pacific northwest at the same time it looked like there was conflict on u.s soil um, which we took to be Russia and China on U.S. soil. So that 1.5 years brings us to uh, somewhere around June or maybe the end of May of this year. Um, well, she, she was getting these impressions of a curved sword that we see as common in um, in the Middle East, over into Persia. And this is a representation of the Imam Mahdi, which uh, again is the 12th Imam, which some say is a almost pseudo immortal being that is hidden here on earth and is gonna make themselves known uh, at the end times and, and lead Islam to become the dominant one world religion. Interesting that the Jews are still waiting for their Messiah, which is, you know, a person of a more political slant. Uh, and everything we see going on right now is, is all about inciting the end time conflict. Israel is grabbing land in the West Bank now, and they're, they're going to try to settle people there even more. They're doing everything they can to incite this um this ww3 all out this is what albert pike said and maybe it's time to you know revisit that mm -hmm. i think there's there's a lot of things that are coming up um we have the solar flares and we're going to talk a little bit about that too but i think there's energies that are building um that i feel confident to sit here and say they're building <laughs> they're definitely definitely building and we're all getting information and depending on how sensitive you are is that information coming through coming through right now so i, I just feel before the eclipse there's a lot of information that we want to cover that we are getting and other people are getting too it's not just us it's a lot of people and they are tapping into the etheric realms and i think they're tapping into highly possible timelines that we're looking at right now and it's just more prevalent now than ever mike is having visions and dreams and then a few days later it's happening heck i was like i'm like a year behind everything you know i had them last year but um as well, that far ahead. <laughs> that i far feel ahead. it's behind <laughs> no i mean she's you know again uh she reached out to me to learn more about qigong and and um at, at first it started out i was teaching her and ever since then th we first met she's been teaching me she's my teacher i love her i love him and it's a blessing so we always cherish every moment together and all of us should be doing that you know every single day because we, we this is um yes this is a temporary human experience keywords temporary and it does allow us um certain things that we can't do when we don't have a body and yet that's something that a lot of people don't understand is most of the time we don't have a physical body like this we we have an energy body uh the physical body it might seem like a curse and you know at the same time it is also a blessing Oh, it's a huge blessing, but I know it can be so painful. You guys, I know it can be so painful. And I've said many times before that pain is our greatest teacher, but that also, believe me, that has upset myself because sometimes I don't think life needs to be as hard as it does. But if it's not as uncomfortable as it was, would you really have moved? You know, would you have moved into alignment with your higher purpose? And that's what some of us are here to do. I mean, we all have a little bit different path to take and i know this one particular can get quite lonely because we talk to a lot of you guys and you just don't have anyone that you can uh, bounce stuff off of because we're very very different we are of a different um type of energy that came here just for this time and with all the the solar the sun sneezes right now this is a build-up this is a build-up so i just want people to stay hydrated and if if your energy body is important to you if that's your purpose now is the time you want to be building this energy while the sun is giving you all this uh, all this information 
Albert Pike said in 1871, this is what they say, he said. I do think he did, honestly. I do, or if, even if he did this, saying this as part of the plan, because again, they have to divest and, and disclose uh, their plans ahead of time. He was a 33rd degree Mason. He was a general. So he's in the secret societies. He's in the know. And, you know, wow, it, it's almost... <laughs> I don't know what this is, but just figure if you turn it to the side, it almost looks like what the band has. It does, yeah. You know, doesn't it? I'm going to have to look it up a little closer. Um, the Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agents of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. The, world must, the war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and political Zionism mutually destroy each other. To bring in the Luciferian doctrine, and what what will that Luciferian doctrine be? That <clears throat> that's the question mark. You know, I understand the fundamentalist Christian uh, point of view going back to the uh, '70s. You know, that's when I first started looking that way back in the '70s, when so many people when it might not even have been born. Uh, yeah, and and it's it's always hit me that you know that was never really exactly what's going to happen. It, it's it's part of the the drama and the show. You got to realize all this when you see that triangle, the Abrahamic triangle. It, it's all about splitting, dividing, and pitting us against each other. Oh, well, we're the only ones that have the right way. No, we're the only ones that have the right way. No, we are the chosen people. All of it is part of the system. All of it. It's very, very simple, really. All you have to do is cultivate love and compassion. You don't need dogma. This is, this is the system that creates the dogma, which keeps us in constant death and destruction. Dogma equals death equals destruction. Meanwhile, Russian air forces uh, intercepted two American bombers over the Barents Sea. Poland is at a heightened state. They've activated their air force as Western Ukraine and Kiev came under a massive Russian attack. Um, there were reports of 14 um, large Russian bombers in the air. You know, the attacks have been intensifying. Um, and we might not have seen the retaliation for the um, event in Moscow. That is a triggering event. That is absolutely. And, and again, when did it happen? 322. These, these, this is the satanic system. They're, they're very predictable. Very predictable. If we just look for the patterns, we can predict what they're going to do next. And humanity is waking up. This is where, you know, they're getting exposed. They are absolutely being exposed. This is their last gasp. But again, they want to try to take as many out as they possibly can before uh, they lose total control. The insanity. Here you have Demo Democratic Senator Murray not allowing illegal aliens with no photo ID to use CBP app at airport security will create long lines at border. What are you talking about? So, you know, again, they could walk in illegally. They they can they don't have to be monitored. And it might be think about you know Cindy picked up the uh, Islamic connection to the face masks with the uh, mandatory thing. A long time ago, uh, again, you know, that could be an intrusion on somebody's religious rights. You can't have them, you know, remove their hijab or anything. You know, that that's an intrusion on rights. And yet they're coming in illegally in droves. And you got a guy over here in Britain who gets fined 90, 90 pounds for covering his face while walking past facial recognition camera. How about all the people coming in in droves illegally? Well, it it again shows you the system is all about it's it's all about destroying us. It's just that that simple. And when I say destroying us, I mean humanity in general because the oppressors become oppressed. It's just a cycle. The illusion. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a nice ring Kate has on. Where did it go? It disappeared in the middle of the video. One nineteen in. It's always been an illusion. It's always been acting. The, pol the politicians are nothing but actors. This is the big thing. And here's the other thing. This guy looks like he's on Adderall. Well, he's probably on that or something worse. 
And, and it doesn't matter if it's legal or illegal, it opens you up to demonic possession. That's part of the reality. Now, you know, fundamentalists will say they're all demons. Well, they're not all demons. And in fact, you know, there's many different extraterrestrials out there um, that I wouldn't really classify them as being very, very benevolent, but they're not malevolent either. Uh, there are very, very malevolent ones, and there are very, very benevolent ones. And then there's all sorts of interdimensional life that's in dimensions um, slightly off from Mars to extremely off from Mars. But the leadership of this planet is totally under demonic control. And, you know, this is what we're up against. And these beings, they really have... Um they, they've done a number on us. They've created a lot of trauma. They, you know, we're kind of in this giant relationship, abusive relationship, uh, full of gaslighting and narcissism. And we've been traumatized since children and our, and our, and our grand, grandparents also, great grandparents. I mean, this is just a line of trauma that we really need to work on ourselves. And on the upcoming days, you know, up to the eclipse, I, I really want to ask people to look at your traumas and work on yourself and work on healing because there is going to be a bump in uh, consciousness after this eclipse. I, I feel it. It's strong. Now, are, are people going to start flying around and having, you know, beams come out of their eyes? No, it's not going to be like that. But I promise you, there's going to be a lot more people who wake up and who have a different understanding, um, you know, an understanding like you have. And right now is your opportunity to uh, really build your energy body and build that uh, thing inside of you. Because when we come into this world, we come in just with nothing. We, we, we come here and we gather memories. Uh, we gather experience. We gather lessons. We gather wisdom. And those are the most important things. And those are the things that we get to leave with. And now is like the time when we get to gather, 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 gather. We get to keep that. And I, I just am excited about that because, I mean, what's better? I mean, a lot of people think when you die, you lose your life. But you know, no, you don't lose your life. You take your life with you. That's the exciting part. Plus, you have all the memories and understanding of all the other lives as well. So, um, it's just a great time to be alive and be able to build these energies right now. And thankfully, uh, the vast majority of people that do follow us uh, understand and are on the awakening path. But for those that don't, uh, they're so easily manipulated. And this is, again, how witches have burned, quote unquote, you know, innocent herbal healers. Most often the case, people that were... Um, a thorn in the side of the system end up getting thrown labels on them and people that don't question anything carry out the will of the system this is why there's it's so dangerous you know how we imagine angels to look like on the left yeah that's a cutie and listen to the actual descriptions that's on the right be mindful of what you're giving power to Oh, man, you know, no wonder demons are really in control because people don't question. They just go ahead with whatever they're told naively. And if they're not themselves walking right off the cliff, they're pushing everybody else off the cliff. This is why we say, you know, get out of the way of, the, of all this because, you know, it's going to burn itself out. And unfortunately, um, there's an awful lot of people that are not going to wake up and, and they are going to be very, very dangerous. Uh, so you're going to want to get outside and away from them. You know, not all of them are going to be sh sharing the love like these cows to this kitty. Or, you know, going to take the time to play ball with you when you really want to play ball. <laughs> this is the cutest thing. I mean, how many kids get to play ball with a dolphin? This is one lucky kid. I bet you his parents are over there doing some type of training. And I, I just think this is the coolest coolest thing and some kids get to grow up with really amazing lives and, and they don't even know it to this guy this is second nature he probably gets to go here like every day and you know he doesn't even realize how lucky he is you know I, I kind of feel like I had a childhood like that I had to oh well, I got to you know get up and take care of my animals every day all day and that really kept me grounded so 
I, I think we owe a debt of gratitude to our furry four-legged pets. They really, really are helping us a lot through this time. And the reality is the consciousness of dolphins and whales m might be above the average human. And, you know, humans uh, have been given a doctrine where they were told to go ahead and conquer. Well, that's really the system telling you to conquer. We, we are we're to get along. We're to cohabitate. We are to be caretakers, not conquerors. Source bless. Namaste. Namaste.